Shaggers, legends, good morning, good afternoon, wherever you are on planet Earth. There has been some huge news that has broken out of Craven Cottage and Marco Silva has finally signed a brand new contract extension at Fulham. This will keep him at Craven Cottage until 2026. We knew that this proposal was put on his desk so long ago. It feels like months ago that this was happening and he has finally put pen to paper this will no doubt galvanize the whole fan base and even members of this fulham squad we could not let go of a manager of the caliber of marco silva this is huge news especially off the back of that dross and dreadful performance away to spurs on monday night but what does this new contract actually mean for Marco Silva. There's so many avenues that we need to go down with this. We know that Marco Silva can be a very stubborn manager, can be petulant at times and very outspoken. In my opinion, all for the right reasons. When you've got a family like the Khans who own and Tony Khan being the director of football who is completely incompetent, you know that Marco Silva was never going to put pen to paper unless the board and the Khans were going to be completely committed. This speaks volumes to me, in my opinion. We weren't backed in the summer. We had an absolutely dreadful transfer window. Letting go of Alexander Mitrovic, not replacing him, potentially losing Joao Polina as well, and not bringing in reinforcements that we needed, some depth that we desperately needed so we didn't suffer or succumb to second season syndrome in the Premier League. And that still could happen. We're only, what, eight, nine games into the Premier League season. We don't know how the rest of the season is going to pan out. But this is something that Fulham fans all over the world have wanted to hear for so long. Wake up. It has happened. Marco Silva has signed a brand new contract, which will keep him at the club until the 25-26 season. It's been an incredible journey. We could not let him go. We could not bend our hand to Saudi Arabia and let them take our manager. It would have been a good paycheck, but he knows, he knows that he wanted to manage right at the very top of world football. But it's, this is completely in the board's control now. Silver has signed the contract and they need to be 110% transparent and committed to the manager. It's as simple as that. He wasn't backed in the summer. He said he needed more money. He said that for so long that he's always needed money to be backed in the transfer order to take Fulham to the next level. Is he capable of doing that? Absolutely. Look what Roberto, look at what Roberto De Zerbi has done at Brighton. Look what Unai Emery has done at Aston Villa. Two world-class managers that have transformed the club. And I mentioned it in a video yesterday. I don't see why Fulham can't be up there with the likes of Brighton and Aston Villa challenging, challenging for places in Europe. It's been so clear this season so far that Fulham, in my eyes, have lost their identity. They are completely hungover from the departure of Alexander Mitrovic, who is such a focal point in this team, but it is now time for the Khans to give whatever money Marco Silva wants in the transfer window. They've probably given him whatever money he wants to sign on that dotted line, and it is done. It is completed. But now, this needs to inspire and galvanise the whole fan base. Let's forget about the summer transfer window that happened. Now is all about January. Marco Silva would have set out, of his, set out his vision just like the board, just like Tony Khan, just like everyone else involved in the club. It's now time for the two pairings to join forces like they should have been completely doing in the summer. But now it is time to bring in some star quality players and for them to push up the table. Because if Joel Polina leaves in January and we don't bring in another striker, we could be seriously in trouble. Silver told the Fulham website, I'm really pleased to sign a new contract. It's something we've been discussing for some time. Yes, it'd been like a good couple of months. It's always a good sign when both parties are happy and continue to work together. I feel that the business is not done yet. We've had two great seasons. The goal is clearly there to sustain the club in the Premier League. This is key for the future of this club. We are working hard to achieve it. It is important to feel the trust and have the supporters of our own support of our owners. Can't read. My reading level has really gone down. My relationship with them and with the Fulham Football Club as a whole has been really important in this decision and the success of the last two seasons. The guy has been incredible for Fulham.
is completely changed us about. We are no longer a yo-yo club. It's time that we really get a foothold back in the Premier League and remain there. We were a mainstay for so many years. What was it, 13 years that we were in the Premier League for? We were a mainstay. We are a Premier League club. Marco Silva can take us to the next level. We have known that. Tony Khan as well, tweeting out as well, with a big old smile on his face, pointing at Marco Silva, saying, I'm a huge admirer of Marco. His ethic, his work ethic, his professionalism and hunger for success <sighs> encompasses the club. Come on, Fulham. Hunger and success are two huge words there for Fulham, hunger and success. It's really ironic that Tony Khan would say that we need to back this manager. Otherwise, he could easily go to a top six club. Easily, without a doubt. So why don't you get your checkbook out, Tony? Start trying to find some suitable people that you can bring into the club in January. We need a backup for Alexander Mitrovic, or not a backup, a replacement for Alexander Mitrovic. Why don't you just go and sign Dominic Solanke? Do exactly what Newcastle did to Burnley a couple of weeks ago, when they, a couple of years ago, when they signed Chris Wood from Burnley, aiding Newcastle, who were in a torrid state of affairs at the time, needed to do a job, save him from Bournemouth, and hopefully we can get some points on the board. And hopefully aim to try and break into the top 10 of the table because right now we are lucky we will we're lucky if we finish anywhere above 15th this season we are so fortunate that they are three worst teams in the premier league this season than fulham i'm looking at sheffield united bournemouth and Burnley as well. Luton, could they stand the test of time? They've been picking up some important points over the last couple of game weeks. But I'm Tony Khan, well, I, like I've said before in a previous video, needs to step away from all responsibilities with Fulham. He's got his main focus on AEW. This contract has taken so long. It is now time. It is now time for Marco Silva to be backed and for Fulham to be taken to the next level. This is a massive plaster over the wound that was from Spurs away losing 2-0. There were so many just dross performances out there. Raul Jimenez, one of them coming off the bench. Carlos Vinicius, incompetent to do anything. Andres Pereira, his form has fallen off a cliff. And I literally put it all down to the atmosphere around the club being so toxic since Alexander Mitrovic left. And we have no one to work off. We need to galvanise this team galvanise the fan base and this is just the beginning this is just the start time now to get real huge news coming out of fulham i couldn't be more happy with the news that broke we knew the contract was on the table and finally it has been signed the ball is now in the khan's court do something with it Make the club proud, make the club happy again, lower the ticket prices and get in touch with reality. This is the best manager that we have had in years, probably the best manager that we have had since Roy Hodgson and a guy that can elevate us to the next level of not only what domestic football, but also European football as well. We deserve to be back in competitions like the Europa League. You, you, you forget that 13 years ago, we were playing in a Europa League final and it has been such a turbulent couple of years, but now it's time to right the wrongs. And hopefully this contract extension, it's a step right in the correct direction for Fulham as a football club. This will galvanise and make other players realise around Europe and around the world that Marco Silva is here to play and people want to play with Marco Silva. Get that checkbook out, get those negotiations done and let's start making some history. Big news. Please remember if you're new here to subscribe to the channel just down below. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section as well. And if you liked the video, please drop us a like.